Hello, we meet again. So quickly, let's check out some of the reasons why one room is not good for couples or if you are a family person. Yeah, if you are a family, one room is not good. And if you are also what couple, one room is not what also good. So that is what I want to talk about briefly. So now, the reason why I said one room is not good for couples or if you are a family, you have kids. The reason why I said one room is not good for you is that one, no privacy. Yeah, you don't have privacy. What are the privacy you are talking about? Let's say, for example, you have children. In that one particular room, you want to have some nice play with your wife. How are you going to do that as a married man? You may say, oh, your kids are sleeping. Let them sleep there before you have those play. Sometimes kids can pretend that they are sleeping, whereas they are not. And by the time they learn those things, don't have it in the back of your mind that they are going to display it in public, either in schools or with their friends and all those things. So by the time you know people got to know those things, it's a disgrace to you as a parent. So you see one good reason why one room is not good for couples? Yeah, because you don't have private you don't have privacy to do some kind of things which children are not supposed to be looking at. Yeah. And now another one again, visitor. So if you are living in one particular room, it is difficult for visitor to come and visit you. And it's not good. If visitor comes in to come and visit you, how are you going to communicate? How are you going to do things? How are you going to dress? Even your wife, how is she going to dress? That's another question. You understand? No fresh breeze to come in because it's just one room. Another point again, children doesn't have place to place around. Yes. Apart from outside, even in the house, they don't have place to play around. Yes, because one room. And third, another point again is that even when you cook your food, you are bringing it in into one room that everybody is sleeping. Can't you see the oxygen? The, there's no fresh air. Everything is just in there. You see? So there are a lot of reasons why one room is not good for families, why it's not good for what for couples. Yes, a lot of reasons are just been there. One, you don't have privacy. If visitor is around, you want to talk with your wife, you want to talk with your kids, or you want to talk, you know, privately like husband to a uh, wife. You cannot because you have visitor there, and the visitor is just in there with one room. You cannot say, oh, visitor cannot come and visit me in one room. Come on, there's nobody in this head that visitor doesn't visit. There are some visitors that we just call like, is like, like a man just is like a court time. Maybe the person wants to write an exam, maybe the next day, just say, oh, uncle, auntie, please, I'm coming to over to your seat, you, or, you know, please, I want to spend one night with you, you see, or a week. You see the reason why one, one room is not good? It's not good, seriously. It's not good. So, my advice, if you are a new couple, before you start having kids, try much as possible to work, work harder, join hands together to make sure that you carry an apartment or two bedrooms above so that you have privacy, so that you, la you, 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 what? Those things that we're not going to encourage those children and all those things, we just keep them aside. That is why one room is not good for families, those, especially those families that have kids. If you have kids, it's no longer good. I'm telling you the fact. It's no longer good. You understand? Because you don't have privacy. Even when visitors come, you don't have place to place them or you don't have any corner to put them. Even your children, you don't have place to play around. Even you, you don't even have place to stretch your leg to also move around. Everything is just in there. It's like a prison. You understand? Even when you cook, you bring the food inside. Even there's no dining to sit down, all those things, it's not good. The, and another point again is that property. The man will also have property, the wife will also have, even the kids will also have. Where are you going to put them? Into that one room where you put your food, you put your food stuff of your food, you put your cooked food, people are sleeping, visitors are in there. Come on, you see, one room is not really good for couples. A lot of reasons are just there. That one room is not really what good for couples. If you are seeing yourself in that kind of situation, you have to try much as possible to do everything possible. I know it's not easy to move out to go and have your two apartments or two bedroom above, so that the children can be free. In case you want to do anything, anytime with your wife, you know what I mean. You can do it. You cannot be waiting for John to sleep or Jennifer to sleep before you go and do it. 
Let me tell you a short story. There was this particular couple. They have three kids, you understand? They were just sleeping on the floor while the wife and the uh, husband is sleeping on the bed. So anytime you want to have, play with your wife in the night, you'll be calling their name. John, are you sleeping? Jennifer, are you sleeping? There was one particular day, none of them, they don't answer. So your wife and the husband decided to be doing the things, you understand? So there was another day come up whereby he started calling the name of the children again. Then the senior one just get up, say, oh dad, stop disturbing me. Anytime you are doing this, Stop calling our name. If you want to do it, do it now and stop disturbing us. You see, it's embarrassing. Okay, what about if that child goes to school and talk about it to his fellow student or even to the teacher or even in public? You as a parent, how will you feel? You understand? That's just the main thing why one room is not just good. If you want to do something with your wife in private, you cannot. Maybe there are some quarrels that you, you and your husband, you, you are having some misunderstanding. Instead of you to go to one room and you just go there to go and settle it, just to avoid the kids seeing you, there's no place to go. Instead, you maybe go and land in the streets and other people will be seeing you. You understand? So a lot of good reasons are there why one room is not good for family, especially those who have kids. That's just the facts. Think about it. What I'm saying is true. So it's not really good, you understand? So try much as possible, if you are living, if you are in that kind of category, try much as possible to really help yourself and the kids, you understand? It's, it's just the best. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments concerning this my topic, don't forget, drop it in my comments and I will get back to you, okay? Love you guys. See you some other time. Bye.